Hi, this is Dipti Khan Padiyari, lecturer in Botany. Welcome to my channel, Mikans Botany. Please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Hi, in this class we will discuss about the double helical structure. Double helical structure of DNA, which is proposed by. Watson and Crick for which they were awarded Nobel Prize. There are there are three forms of DNA available available in cell in any kind of cell. Three forms are. One is A form, second one is B form, third one is Z form. Among these three forms, the B form is physiologically more active and found more in among these three forms of. B DNA. Let's see Watson and Crick discuss about this B form of DNA structure of uh, the uh, the structure proposed and given by the Watson and Crick is which is the B form DNA. We know DNA is a polymer of nucleotide. And we know nucleotide are of two types. One is deoxyribonucleotide. Deoxyribonucleotide. And another one is ribose. Ribonucleotide. Ribonucleotide. Deoxyribonucleotide present in DNA. Ribonucleotide present in RNA. Simple case. Simple case and DNA. Here we will start with DNA. As we know, DNA is a polymer of deoxyribonucleotide. Now I am try to draw. Here will the deoxyribonucleotides. Here will the phosphate group, five prime phosphate group. Here will the carbon, and here will be the ester one. It is the ester one. Here will be ester one. Both are cut on as phospho diester bond. Phosphate group is attached to the three prime hydroxyl end of any of the deoxyribonucleotide. Here will be the attachment of one of the nitrogenous base. Let's here will be the thiamine. Here will be the sorry. Here will be the nine. Uh, 
here will be the guanine here will be the cytosine and here will be the no, sorry here will be the thiamine here will be the guanine let's consider and as we know dna is a anti parallel structure so let's draw this adenine will pair with thiamine this nucleotide here will be the 5 prime phosphate group and here will be the another phosphate group and here will be the easter bond next another polyne another nucleotide here will be the sorry here will be the phosphate group here will be the easter bond another phosphate group so another nucleotide here will be the phosphate group and here will be the three prime hydroxylane is it clear to you then another cytosine here will be the adenine sorry this is this is adenine this will be the adenine this will be the thiamine and this will be guanine and this will, should be cytosine as we know a nitrogenous pair a nitrogenous base nitrogenous base are two types purine and pyrimidine purine and pyrimidine purine always pair with pyrimidine means adenine always pair with thiamine and guanine always pair with cytosine and in between adenine and guanine adenine and thiamine there is double bond this bond is termed as hydrogen bond hydrogen bond and in between guanine and cytosine there is triple hydrogen bond now let's draw let's connect with the adenine with thiamine guanine adenine with thiamine guanine with cytosine with triple bond and uh, here will be the adenine with thiamine double bond and guanine with cytosine with triple bond is it clear next next C here will be the five prime end if it will be if it will be something like this and here will be the three prime okay let's imagine an imaginary axis here through which the double helical structure will move around it and here will be the let's see here will be the 5 prime phosphate group means 5 prime end will be here and here will be the 3 prime hydroxyl end and here will be the 3 prime hydroxyl end 3 prime end next if it is a strand then here will be the 3 prime hydroxyl end here will be the let's see here will be the 5 prime phosphate group and here will be the 3 prime hydroxyl end let's see if it is the 5 prime end let's see here will be the 3 prime 
and if it is the three prime end let's see here will be the five prime end we know according to Watson and Crick model the DNA helix are anti parallel means 3 prime here anti parallel means if it is the 5 prime and 3 prime and if this chain will be the 5 prime and 3 prime and this chain should be 3 prime 5 prime and is it clear next if here will be the 5 prime and And in another color, I am using color pens to demonstrate which will be easy for you. Here will be the three prime end. Here will be the five prime end. Here will be the three prime end. Okay. According to Watson and Crick model, the distance between two chain in a double helical model will be 20 Armstrong distance between two strand of a double helical structure will be 20 Armstrong that is 2 nanometer and in a complete turn with a complete turn complete turn will be here here to here means 360 degree complete rotation the complete rotation of a DNA DNA will the distance between a complete rotation of a DNA will be 34 Armstrong means 3.4 nanometer okay in between a complete turn there will be the 10 base pair of nucleotide 10 base pair of nucleotide will be there let's draw 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 nucleotide base pair will be there in a complete turn of DNA double helix. Then if, if there will be the complete turn distance will be 34 Armstrong and there will, there will be 10 base pair and in between two nucleotide the distance between two nucleotide will be 3.4 Armstrong and or 0.34 Armstrong and here will be the formation of two groups here will be the formation of two groups one is major group another one is minor group this is the minor group and this group is major group is it clear This completes the DNA double helical structure proposed by Watson and Crick. Thank you.